Kevin says hello. Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. 68 degrees and overcast. I'm here at Rockport Beach, right along Little Bay. Thought I'd stop and check out the Pelicans. Winds are eight miles an hour out of the southeast. Feels a little stronger than that to me, but so far today we've gotten rain. Where's Kevin at? I knew I, oh, he's over here now. Okay. I knew I heard Kevin. There he is. Good morning, Kevin. Rain and sun and looks like we're about to get a few minutes of sun right now. Pelicans are all lined up. Look at the colors on this guy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I love when they uh, lay down to rest. They just look like, like a Plots. <laughs> There's Plots on a bench. There's Plots on the pole. He had his wings, uh, maybe it was this one down here, had his wings uh, all out to dry. You guys remember a video I did a few years back about Gator Man? I uh, heard from someone today who knew Gator Man and said the video was interesting. And of course, we didn't get everything right. But we're going by old news articles. Gator Man was a gentleman who kind of had a tourist attraction here in Rockport. And it was Gators. And uh, the gentleman I heard for was a friend of Gator Man's and uh, helped take care of him the last few years of his life. Seemed like a real good dude. And it was nice to get an email from him. He put some personal things in there, so I'm not going to share them, but it's uh, nice to know that uh, Gator Man uh, had people that loved him and cared about him at the end. Now I'm going by the news stories I read. Gator Man um, did a little weed business in the 70s back in the day. So he was always running afoul of the local sheriff. And they couldn't seem to catch him. And it really, to me, man, it sounded just like a Burt Reynolds movie. Maybe a little Dukes of Hazard thrown in. But... Uh, yeah, thank you for that email, friend. That was uh, that was really nice. I'm hopefully going to meet up with my buddy Jake tonight. You remember Jake? Uh, Jake is my friend, but he's also my friend's kid. And uh, Jake is huge now. Jake, Jake's a man now. But uh, <laughs> Jake helped when we were uh, trying to help those horses. And he's been a bunch in the, a bunch of my videos fishing. He caught a massive, uh, oh, a black drum over by the boat ramp one day. And uh, Jake's going to help me uh, organize my truck later tonight. So, uh, yeah, my truck's kind of a mess right now from being uh, short of breath. I got the back all cleaned up and organized, but um, if I had to pick up Luciano today, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. But I do have to pick up Luciano tomorrow. So uh, hopefully Jake can help me get organized tonight. It'll be, uh, it'll be a good thing. Not a whole lot of people at the beach. I did see... Um, Texas Game Wardens 
and this one didn't wasn't didn't have a warden uniform on but let me see he's still over here he's still over here let me see his truck well I don't see him from here his truck was over there that a right oh there it is okay just a regular Texas game warden uh, truck hauling a trailer and it looks like they were doing some testing over there in the water uh, on Little Bay so that was kind of neat let him do his thing over there I, I had a hundred questions for him but I figured they just want to do their job and not be bothered by the guy uh, with the YouTube channel <laughs> I did not sleep well last night, so I am paying for it today. I just don't have the energy and being being short on breath and not having the energy is not a, a great combination to go off road here. Let's go down this little hill, little bumpity bump. Take it nice and slow. Woo! There's a little bay in the ski basin. Haven't seen a whole lot of uh, cranes and storks today. Not sure what's going on there. There's a washout right there from that rain we had. Hmm. We'll come back and get that trash, guys. Well, maybe we won't today. I have not picked up trash regularly the last few weeks like I normally like to. So, not sure why I didn't sleep well last night. I just kept waking up every 10 minutes and be awake for a half hour and sleep for 10 so uh need to get some proper rest tonight it just makes such a difference when you're trying to heal up from not feeling well or recovering from an injury or dealing with the the heat or the cold, you know, proper rest and water can fix a lot of things. And uh, I was going to go into Corpus today, but I was tired and I haven't been able to pick up my, uh, I got a new tripod delivered today because uh, if you guys saw the tripod that uh, I got Calvin. I have the same one. It seems like every six months they break. And what I just figured out to do was start saving the old ones because it's always a different part that breaks. One of the one of the legs will break. Uh, this time a, a ball socket broke that tightens the camera down. And I've gone through enough of them where I could have all those extra parts. So uh, I'm gonna start saving the broken ones. And uh, that way I got parts for repairs. But I really do like the tripod. The legs are flexible, you can wrap it around stuff. And I've been using it for my driving videos. And where I'm going in Corpus today, um, up river road where I wanted to go, uh, I definitely want my hands free and my full attention on the road and plus there's a lot of police and security in that area because you're right along the oil refineries so um, definitely want to have my camera mounted for that so instead of upriver road you uh, you get Rockport Beach today
and the sun did come out. <laughs> the sun came out for us, guys. So, if there's anything you guys want to see in Corpus, uh, I might get there tomorrow afternoon. I might get there Saturday, Friday or Saturday. Uh, leave a comment in this video. And while I'm in Corpus, if I can, I can go over and get a shot of that. But yeah, I'm, I plan on driving and filming the length of Upriver Road from where you get off 37 until it ends and kind of goes back to uh, I-37. So guys, that's the plan. That's what's going on. Thanks for riding along today. Thanks for watching.